Okay, today we, I'm gonna tell you who's got the power in Norway and no, it's not who you believe. Hello everyone, today I'm gonna tell you who's got the real power in Norway, who decides, who do all have to respect. And no, it's not the king uh, in the castle behind me, absolutely not, he's just a figure. And it's not uh, the parliament, the prime minister or the president down there, really not. Because the people with power in Norway are these two kids. Uh, because in Norway in uh, 2017 was claimed by the Save the Children organization as the best place for kids to live in. It starts with the 17th of May, our national day. I mean, most countries you have on your national days military parades, showing off your arms, your rockets. We really don't. On our national day, we have children filled up in the streets in front of the castle and they go hurra 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 so our national day is actually children's day and if you are a, a, a child in Norway and you have a birthday you are very lucky because each child gets at least two birthdays one for their uh, friends and one for the family a Norwegian kid like him uh, uh, he has, uh, in average, more than 600 toys. Can you imagine? Till months, <coughs> till they are each child from they are born till they are 18 years, will get 100 euro each month. And if you are, have a single parent, the amount will double. And if a kid like this. Needs Ow. some dental care or has a problem with his health, his ear. Well, don't worry, all children health, children dental care, everything is free. All, all children in Norway have really, uh, they got protection, they got their own rights, they actually have their own ombudsman which take care of all the rights of the kids in Norway. And for instance, uh, all Norwegian uh, children have the right to be whoever they want to be. They can choose their own identity. And all children in Norway has the right to participate in culture or artistic uh, uh, stuff. And there is a lot of rules uh, here for the kids in Norway. Okay, in Norway we also have something called Barnevarna, uh, Child Protection Services, which uh, many foreigners think is very bad, because the center of the law in Norway is always a child. So if a child is abused or neglected in a family, the government will come in and take care of that child. Why we have to go home? But we have to go to home and make dinner and no. so. You don't want to? No. Do you? Is it so funny in Barnhagen? Yes. Okay, kids, ready to go home? In Norway, right. all kids have the right, right. to attend kindergarten, right. and right. kindergartens are right. heavy, uh, heavily right. subsidized by the right. government. Right. So it's quite right. cheap right. to have a right. child in right. a kindergarten. Right. When you have a child in Norway, uh, you get one year paid maternity leave, and the parents, father and mother, can choose among themselves how many months each want. Are you sick? Are you sick? No, no. Are you sick? Well, we'll for my turn. Come back home. You are sick. You have to stay home. Come back. Come back. You are sick. In Norway, if the child is catches a cold, get the flu, or is a little bit sick, all parents can leave their work, get uh, leave their work, and be paid, and go home and take care of the children. This year we're going to no, Norge på hytta. No, we're going to go there. No, damn, it's too expensive. We cannot go there. We have to go another small 
på en liten hytte. På, no, what ja, about you? Hva sier dere? We're going on a vacation to the not northern Norway. Do, vil du det? Mons? No, we can't. No, we cannot. In Norway, uh, children has a lot of influence. They decide what we are going to eat for dinner. They decide where we are going on a holiday or vacation trip. They decide what we are going to do in the weekends. And all in all, children decides a lot. And we are now in the uh, uh, castle gardens outside the royal palace, historical place, posh place. But guess who decided which art that was going to be in this garden? Who was the interior decorator here? Well, of course, it was the uh, grandchildren of the king and queen. Yeah. Uh, but to become old in Norway, that's a totally different story. Then your family will place you on an, in an old people's home where you will be stuck alone. The family will only visit maybe once a year around Christmas and the chances of dying totally alone in Norway is really high. But for kids, it is a paradise! That was it for today. If you like what you see, remember to subscribe and please uh, post us your stories, post us your comments, give us a thumb up, thumb down, we don't care. Remember to check out our Facebook page for next episode. See you, bye bye.